There are no days off for Poppy Roberts, a guard for Drew University basketball. Almost daily workouts at Newark's Branchbrook Park are part of his repertoire. It's been there since I was young. Like since I was young, I've been getting up five o'clock in the morning, putting up shots before I went to school, working out, training before I went to school to be the player I am now. But in heat, that's this grueling. His dad, who also coaches a basketball camp, is constantly in his ear about being hydrated. Being hydrated, being focused, being mindful of all them little things, because it's the little things that matter. We got the ice cooler right there. We have fruit in there. We have water in there. We have juices in there. Newark has declared a code red through Saturday and is offering cooling centers at several rec areas, senior centers, and pools. Robert's dad, Coach Africa, is making sure campers stay in the game. They'll come sit down over here in the shade and drink some water and eat some fruit for like probably a couple of minutes, two, three minutes. Then they'll go back out there and do another set, another rep. Across Essex County are more options for those looking to escape the heat. Here at the Richard Cody Arena in West Orange, Essex County officials have decided to open up the lobby of the arena as a public cooling space. It'll be open every day through Saturday, starting at 6 a.m. The instant relief of air conditioning beckons anyone who walks inside. Meanwhile, in Patterson, the city's two pools, including Lou Costello Pool and its Great Falls neighborhood, are open to the public, among other choices. We're opening up both of our libraries. They will serve as cooling centers. There will also be activities within those cooling centers, particularly for children. We're going to have movies, and then it's a library, so we welcome anyone to come in, read a book, mm -hmm. read a couple books. The main and south branches of the library will be open to anyone who wants in every day from 8.30 to 4.30 through Saturday. But Mayor Andre Sayas says they may consider extending those hours. We are going to make sure that we do everything we can to keep people cool. For PIX11 News, I'm Jim Vassell.